Hi everyone, my name is Naomi. I wanted to come to you to give you a few tips on how to be productive while working from home. I've been working from home for well over 10 years. It's been wonderful, I absolutely love it, but it takes a special person to work from home. You have to be able to set yourself up properly and you have to be able to really hold yourself accountable most of the time. I'm gonna share with you just some tips on how to do just that. My first tip for you is find a designated office space. Now, most of us do not have the benefit of having a specific room for an office, but find a dedicated space in which you will do your work. This is going to be super helpful for you to be able to anticipate where you're going to work at for the day and be able to organize it the way you need it to be organized so that you can be best productive. If you need a flat top with um, lots of room, definitely make sure that you have a space for that. If you need a chair or a standing desk, make sure that you're accounting for that as well. But definitely find somewhere to work. Working from your couch probably isn't the best idea unless that's the absolute only space that you have. But definitely try to find a little nook in order for you to be able to work and be as productive as you can be. So that's my first tip for you is find a designated office space. My second tip for you is to communicate. Communicate often to your team and to your leaders just to make sure that they know that not only that you're working, that you are alert and you're available for them to contact you at any specific given time. It's just really important because leaders aren't able to see you or your team's not able to see you, that you stay in contact and in communication with them throughout the day. Having some really great communication boundaries are really good and be able to just share with them how you're doing, connect with them in the morning to say good morning. When you're taking your breaks, maybe see if there's an opportunity that you all can connect. Those are some really great things just to be able to connect and communicate and to share within your day. Most of the time when we, you're at a brick and mortar, maybe you will go to the coffee station or the water cooler station if they still have those. Or you might see your colleagues in the hallway and passing like that. It's really important to really foster that sense of engagement throughout your day because you can easily go missing with all of the work that's going by and people aren't, aren't, aren't really seeing you. So those are some ways in order to, for you to be vis visible. So my third tip for you is to create boundaries. Yes, create boundaries. I said this before in the previous tip, but it's important to, for you to also be creating boundaries around your day. So what does that look like? That looks like making sure that everyone you c communicate with knows when you come in for, for the day, if you have to leave at a certain time during the day, that they're aware of your schedule, that they're aware of how you work so that they aren't contacting you at a, di a difficult time, right? How you can do that is through your calendaring system. You can set up different boundaries around the times that you are available. You can also make sure that you uh, put in your calendar some of the things that you're doing just in case people come in and they're trying to book uh, a spot on your calendar, especially if you're working on a ca shared calendar system like an Outlook. Make sure people know when you're available and when you're not available. Um, other than that, create just boundaries on, you know, when you're going to be in and out for the day or if you're going on vacation, make sure you're communicating that you're going on vacation so that you don't get information that's coming to you that you aren't able to action because you're not available. That would be my third tip for you is to create boundaries around your work. So my fourth tip for you is to try to co-work. I absolutely love to co-work. It's something that really helps me during my day. It fosters a sense of accomplishment because I'm able to be able to get a task done within a set amount of time. And I am able to encourage myself to have breaks and take certain breaks too. This might be something that would be something that you might want to be able to do in your business as well, creating some co-working. You can do that within your organization. If you're working and you don't have that ability to have that um, type of space with any coworkers, or perhaps you're flying solo doing, your, doing a business on your own, you can join Planners on Purpose community. We actually uh, do co-working once a month and that is in our Facebook community. So if you would like to go ahead and join that community, it'll be great. We co-work and we network at the same time. So we usually do a couple of Pomodoro sessions and we'll come up for, for air and we will network and then we will go back into another session. But if that's something that you would like to do, I'd love to see you over there in the Planners on Purpose 
pop co-working session. Otherwise, yeah, that's my fourth tip for you. Try to do some co-working, try to do the Pomodoro method just to keep yourself engaged and holding yourself accountable throughout the day, throughout the day on the task that you need to do. And lastly, I want you to not overwork, not overwork and take some breaks, right? Because you, we work in an industry that is constantly in need, in need of us to service, in need, of, in need of us to please our clients. So it's important for us to take a step back, take those breaks that we need to take throughout our day. I did mention co-working before, but what I love about co-working is that after a certain amount of time, we come up for air and we're taking a little bit of break. How that looks if you're alone is that you, you are done with your Pomodoro session and then you just will take a walk or you take a small break before you head back into another task. Definitely put breaks throughout your day. Have it in time for your work because it's very easy when you're working from home to just keep working and working and working. Have it in time so that you can go and take care of some of those personal things um, that mean much to you as well. So there you have it. Those are some five tips that I have for you to stay productive while you're working from home. I hope that these tips were beneficial for you. And if you have some way that you work from home and you are staying productive, I would love to hear what you do in the comments. And please let me know, hey, is one of, or one of these particular points something that you can take and you can action? I would love to see how that worked for you. But until next time, I just say stay on purpose.